Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss the exponential change. So we're going to look at how differential equation can help us model a uh, real world problem. So such as population growth or decay. We're going to be focusing only the growth in this video. So let's take a look at a differential equation that models this scenario. So we're gonna start off with saying let y of t denote uh, the amount at any given time t. So we want to model the differential equation, let's say dy dt, which is the rate at how the population or the amount is changing at any given time t, and this is going to be proportional to its size. So let's say k is the proportional uh, factor and y is the size. Now we could put a negative num uh, in front of k if it's a decay problem, but since we're working with growth, we're gonna keep the proportional factor to be positive. So this is the differential equation we're going to be using with the initial condition uh, to be the following. The amount at t equals zero is going to be some y naught. So let's go ahead and solve this differential equation by using separation of variables, since this is a separable differential equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by y and multiply dt on both sides. So you have one over y dy is equal to k times dt. And now we can integrate both sides with respect to its variables. So on the left side, if I integrate one over y, I have ln in absolute value of y is equal to the right-hand side, we get k times t plus the integration constant c. Now let's go ahead and isolate y since this is what we're looking for. What is our solution to this model? I'm gonna go ahead and exponentiate both sides. So you'll have absolute value of y is equal to e to the power kt plus c. Now here we're going to be using the laws of exponents. So if you remember, if you have, let's say, e to the a times e to the b, that's pretty much e to the uh, a plus b. So we can add the exponents. So here I have actually the right-hand side. So I'm going to separate them into two separate pieces. So you can write this as absolute value of y is equal to e to the kt times e to the c. Now, to remove the absolute value on the left-hand side, we get the following, y is equal to plus and minus. Now I'm also gonna move this in the front. So you'll have e to the c times e to the kt. Now notice that this is just a constant. So we can pick a number, let's say, let a to stand for plus and minus e to the c, because it's just any number, we can replace it with a different constant. So my final, answer for this function y is going to be some a times e to the kt. So this is our model. Now let's go ahead and impose the initial condition. So we're going to plug in t equals zero, and that's going to be y naught. That's the initial condition. So when y of zero is equal to y naught, we're going to have y naught is equal to a times e to the k times t, while t is zero. So this will simply give us a is equal to y naught. And now we have our model. So we're going to be using y of t, or you can say y. Uh, this is going to be y naught e to the kt. So that's the function we're going to be using when we're analyzing population growth or any sort of exponential growth problem. Now let's take a look at this example. So since we know that we're going to be using the model y of t is equal to y naught e to the kt. So to come up with our specific model, we need to figure out what is y naught, the initial amount, and what is k. And then we have the model, then we can answer any questions. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this problem. Suppose that the bacteria in a colony can be grow unchecked by the law of exponential change. So we know that we're using um, this model and we know the colony starts with one bacterium and doubles every half hour. So that's important. So from this, we know that our initial amount, when t is equal to zero, it's going to be one. 
and it doubles every half hour. So this piece of information tells us that when T is one half, half hour, we're going to have two times the initial amount. So we can say this is two times one. Now, based on this information, we can figure out the K. So from this, we can find K value. And then we have the model. And at the end, we're going to find out how many bacteria will, uh, will the colony contain at the end of 24 hours. So that's our final goal, is to find the number of bacteria after 24 hours. So hold on to that thought, let's go ahead and find K. So using this information right here, we know that two times the initial amount is equal to the initial amount times E to the K, we don't know, T is one half, since this is the amount when T is one half. So algebraically, let's go ahead and solve for K. So I can go ahead and just divide both sides by one or just simply write two is equal to E to the one half K. And now we can take natural log on both sides. So you have ln of two is equal to ln of e to the power one half k, which simply just becomes one half k. And now we can multiply both sides by two. So we have two times ln of two is equal to k. So there you have the k value. Now let's go ahead and write out the model for this scenario. So our model is the amount at any given time t is equal to the initial amount times e to the k, that's 2 ln of 2 times t. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. So I'm going to use the laws of logarithms. So recall that if you have, let's say, um, a times ln of uh, x, let's say, this can be written as ln of x to the power a. That's what I'm going to apply here. So we have um, e to the ln of 2 to the power 2 times t. So ln of 2 to the power 2, that's simply ln of 4. So we have e to the ln of 4 times t. And now here, ln and e, I can cancel these. So my function in simplified form is simply 4 to the power t. So that's the model for this particular scenario. Now that we have our model, let's answer the question. We want to know how many bacteria will be at the end of 24 hours. So when t is equal to 24, what is the amount? What is y of 24? That's what we want to know. So using this model, we want to know what is y of 24. That's going to be 4 to the power 24, simply plugging in 24 for t. And that will give you the amount. But since I don't have it calculated with me, I'm going to stop right here. If you do have one, simply plug 4 to the power 24. That will be the amount after 24 hours. All right, so this is it. I hope this helps.